uh, life expectancy has really been flat or declining uh, since 2014, right? So we have been in a bad situation life expectancy wise uh, long before, uh, uh, you know, coronavirus. And uh, in fact, it went down, it is now 77 years, it is the lowest uh, since 2002. That was 18 years before uh, 2020. So um, uh, <laughs> that's a long time, Daryl. And the, by the way, this is the largest decline since 1943. Now I think you can imagine what was happening in 1943, a lot of uh, young people. Um, uh, sacrificing themselves at the, probably the bloodiest war, one of the two bloodiest wars actually in um, uh, World War II, maybe between 100, uh, well, 100 and 150,000 uh, people dying. And of course, uh, when you're young and you die, you subtract a lot. I mean, this is the Scrooge-like way in which uh, demographers think. You subtract a lot more years <laughs> from life expectancy for a young person than an old person. First rule of demography, Daryl, is it Healthcare advances actually don't matter so much for increase in overall longevity. You know what oh, matters? Okay. Lifestyle. Lifestyle, Chronic okay, yeah, diseases. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's all the stuff we do to ourselves. Yeah. It overwhelms what, uh, uh, you know, healthcare tech does for yeah. us, right? Um, and, uh, but I will say this, that the decline, the increase in mortality has occurred mainly under age 65. And that was worries me from a cohort perspective, right? So it's kind of Xers and millennials, hate to say it, uh, who are doing worse things to themselves. They are dying at higher rates. Hey there, Hedgeye Nation, or if you're not part of Hedgeye Nation, thanks for watching Hedgeye on YouTube. If you haven't already, make sure to click on the button below there, subscribe to our YouTube page. You can also follow the link in the description to our website to get even more great investing content.